morning, YouTube. I thought it'd be fun to do a little day in the office. So I'm gonna pass the camera around to Ali and Emma and then I'll take it a little bit myself and you guys can kind of see what we get up to in a typical day at Cove. So first things first, kind of exciting. Um, last night we got this package dropped off. It's finally packaging for our creaseless clips and it's a pretty big box. So um, I actually just made one to see how it would look. Cause right now our creaseless clips are in our dust bags here, but we're transitioning from dust bags to product packaging um, for many reasons, but how cute is that? I feel like that just looks so much more professional and like elevated. And don't get me wrong, I do love our dust bags, but as we grow and scale, this is just the better option right now. How cute. Hi guys, good morning. Let's pack some orders. So I'm gonna take you through kind of my process of what I do to pack some orders. Let's take a look here at our packing slip. So this person ordered a sole medium bloom, a demi clip in pistachio, and a sole medium sugar. So what I do is I have all my bins over here. They're all organized by size and color on both sides. So we're just gonna go pick those up. Debbie clip and pistachio. Soul clip and medium bloom. And soul clip and medium sugar. So I have to basically make a judgment call based on the order size of which box they'll fit in. We have our small boxes. We have our medium size boxes. And then we have our large and extra large boxes. So depending on how big the order is, this order here can fit in a small size box. So I just take them off, put them on the shipping label and make a big stack here on the table. Once my table is full of orders, I then take them all and pack them all in boxes with tissue and cards accordingly. So let's do that. Hi guys, long time no talk. Um, if you're new here, my name is Allie and I'm the Community and Partnerships Coordinator. Um, and it is Thursday and I'm currently just planning the feed for next week. So I'll give you guys a quick sneak peek of that. We actually started a new system for the Instagram and this is the first time I'm doing it. So I'll show you guys a little behind the scenes. Um, but basically we're gonna start working off Instagram templates for planning the feed. So we're gonna work on a bi-weekly Instagram schedule and then post the same, not same content, but same idea behind every content every two weeks. So let me give you a sneak peek. So this is what it looks like. We're basically just like rotating between photo dumps, reels, shoot content, um, Cove imagery, UGC. A whole bunch of fun stuff like that and let me show you the feed so this is what we're working with very summery very fun we just had our spring fling collection so we have a lot of that content still really heavy in the feed um and then yeah i'll give you a quick sneak peek let me show you one of our photo dumps for next week just a bit of life at the office we have our beautiful spring fling clips Leo, of course. Our new Cove letters, which are actually right here. They got put up a few weeks ago. They look so nice at our little desk station. Um, and then we also have packaging, clips in our hair, and that is the weekly dump. Oh no, and the Christmas clips from the bottom collection. A little bit of everything. But yeah, so that's how the feed's looking. Make sure you follow us on Instagram so you guys can see all of this. Another thing I'm gonna be working on, and I'll bring you guys along, 
is the pop-up. So if you haven't heard, which you should have heard by now, we're having a pop-up July 15th in Toronto. And it's very exciting, but also so busy. The amount of stuff that goes into a pop-up is insane. So I have a lot of emails to do for that, as well as like just planning. We wanna do goodie bags for the first 50 customers, flower bouquets. We want the space to be beautiful. So there's just so much to go into that. So um, I'll show you guys more of that when we, when we get there. But right now I'm gonna finish the feed. Um, and then I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, let's go bug Chelsea. <laughs> Making my way over. Hey. What's up? <laughs> oh my God, run away. <laughs> oh my God, he's so cute. <laughs> we think this is, is it Ryder? Is it legit Ryder? I think so, I think that was. Okay. Oh my God, you're so cute. Hi. Please stop. Come look at me. Oh You're so God. cute. I wasn't expecting him to be that small. But I no, he's so, so tiny. Hi. Oh my God, he's so, so cute. Same size, like, comparable to you? Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. He's okay. So Emma and I are meeting now to talk about the pop-up. We're talking about more like operations and then branding and it's about six weeks away. So we're just trying to get some of that stuff. Nailed um, down. Yeah, exactly. So you guys can listen in listen on our conversation. In. And I'm also gonna take a little TikTok. I'm so doing a day of my life on TikTok too. Oh. Is this is our full content day, holy There's shit. There's a lot going on. Okay, you're gonna smile in three, two, one. Perfect. <laughs> um, stunning. Okay, so now for the meeting. Sort of operation for mm -hmm. when you guys come in you can see all the products that are available. Like they're gonna be obviously displayed, but there'll be some more products that aren't gonna be at the pop-up for you to be able to shop for as well. Some other stuff. So we've got to find some way to basically make it make sense. Make it make sense to you guys. So we were thinking maybe they can vote. We were thinking because you're not gonna be able to pick and bring to the cash with you. And I posted this on my TikTok. So if you watch our TikTok, you probably have already heard about this, but um, you can't take the product to cash with you just because of the space, it doesn't really allow for that. So we need a way for those customers to like understand. And know what they're ordering yeah. and like what options they have. So. Like initially we were thinking like having a sheet or something that people could walk around and like make notes on or whatever, but like then- check off like which ones yeah. they want, blah, blah, blah. But we were thinking for like a less wasteful version, maybe like QR codes around the space where you can scan and kind of like shop all the products in a really simplified way. So maybe not like an e-commerce version, but just like something, maybe a PDF or like something that breaks everything down. You guys so, can attach pictures to it so you guys yeah. can visually see what you're also shopping for. Yeah. As well as like different sizes, et cetera. Yeah. And then when you come to cash, you'll be reminded somehow of everything going on. Like, well, I think I'm thinking some sort of sign that would have all the yeah, different, maybe. like yeah. a cash sign. Like yeah. I'll have them, I'm thinking obviously they'll be displayed near me Probably, of some yeah. sort of all the shelf. sizes and yeah. colors. And then Ideally. a sign as well that also offers all mm -hmm. of them. We just want to make it as simple as we can for you guys. And it's hard for us because we're so involved and like we know these products I know so the products well. like the back of my hands, yeah. but I gotta, we gotta step back and yeah. remember that you guys may not. So mm -hmm. we have to put that into perspective. We gotta figure that out. All right guys, Ali and Emma just went home. I have one last call before my day is done and I can head home, but I wanted to show you a sample that we just received. It's so, so cute. So you guys have been asking for kids clips for so long and these are literally the cutest things I've ever seen. They're so small that I can't even <laughs> grip them properly. Look at how tiny. Let me show you in comparison to our extra large daily clip. Extra large and kids. <laughs> Look at that. Emma also got around to um, prepping a bunch of these all packaged up. I still think that they look so, so cute. I don't know um, why, but I love the gold. I've never liked gold before. I'm a silver girl, but the gold is just so cute. On another note, we've had some updates to our office recently. I know Ali showed you a little bit more on like the aesthetic side, but I'm gonna show you some changes we made to um, the operations part of our office. 
Uh, so like order fulfillment, packing, inventory, things like that. So I'll give you a little tour real quick. We got three extra bins on each side. So this didn't move at all. We've extended it down that way. And then this one shifted out by three bins this way. So we have our spring fling collection in here. This is Peony in a demi clip and then Darling in the demi clip. We also have pistachio. You guys have been loving pistachio. I love it so much. And then mojito in the sculpt clip. If you know, you know this clip is so functional. And then we have some, some of our bins got reorganized in terms of like where the clip colors are sitting. So we have blushing. It's actually all sold out in the soul clip, but coming back soon. So stay tuned. We are almost sold out in the daily clip as well. Those look like they're pretty full, but they're actually not considering how fast blushing sells through. We have Bloom. This is part of our Spring Fling collection. It's kind of like a jelly purple. And then we have Sorbet. Again, it's like a jelly orange. I actually love this color so much. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do. And I'm not very big into colors, so that says a lot. And then we have Sugar, which is our bestseller because everybody loves pink. And then just the difference between Bloom and pink. Sometimes it's hard to tell in photos, but Bloom is obviously purple. Pink is, or yeah, Bloom is obviously purple. Sugar is obviously pink when you hold them up next to each other. You can see this side comes out further than that one. Obviously it kind of eats into the packing area. And then down here now we have all of our Lux Scrunchy bundles. They actually sell really, really fast. Um, Emma is always having to pack some more up so that she's ready to fulfill. She just did a decent restock, but trust me, they don't last long. And then we have this little setup for all of our personalized demi clips, which also have been selling really, really well. So you can get it in either metal color and then the charms are 18 karat gold plated. So they're built to last like everything else that we produce. Um, you can get every letter, some of which are running low. Um, you can get the creases clips, normally they are here, but again, Emma's just packing those. And we are also including this now with local orders. It's basically just an invitation to our pop-up and 15% off your purchase if you bring the card with you. So if you wanna place an order now and you wanna to come to our pop-up, do it sooner than later so you can get this invite and get 15% off at our pop-up. Our QA sale also just restocked, so all of these guys are available on the website. I might send an email about it, but just so you know, QA sale does go really fast, so check that out online. I have such a hard time making long form video content. I feel like it's just because I'm so used to TikTok, and I've been doing TikTok for the past like two and a half years that long form video content just like doesn't make sense in my mind because I'm so used to people wanting like something so short and brief that like it catches their attention and they don't scroll through it, but I feel like YouTube is the absolute opposite of that. So I'm trying to get better at like filming more of my day and like each little part of my day that I do film, like extending it, even if I think that it might be boring to viewers because of how I think about TikTok. I don't know if that makes sense. Leo and I are going home right now. It's about 4.30, my call ended early. Um, we actually, it's like 29 degrees today, which I love. I actually wouldn't even have the AC on in the car right now if it weren't for Leo. He's laying down right now. I love the heat, but our building AC is currently broken and it has been broken this season yet, like so far. And it's not expected to be fixed until mid June. So we have another like two and a half weeks without AC. I love heat, but like it gets really stuffy when you just have like a one bedroom condo and there's two people and a dog in it. So I... I was kind of tempted to stay at work for a bit longer, but in reality, I'd rather be at home. I might take Leo for a little bit of a walk, and then I have some last minute things I need to do with work, but I want to attend today a little bit early because I do need to get on um, online later tonight to talk to production. So that will keep me up a little bit later. Sometimes when we like are production heavy, I have to work until like four o'clock and then from like eight o'clock until 10 or 11 I'll be like discussing with production just because of timing and like time changes it makes more sense that way it kind of like it's a bit annoying because I don't know when my day is done but it is what it is so and yeah that's basically it I do have Pilates tonight so I think I might make dinner and then go to Pilates and then talk to production I don't know 
it's a Thursday, so at least tomorrow's Friday and then I can chill for the weekend. So that's a little mid-afternoon catch-up. If I vlog more tonight, you'll see more. If not, then this is the end of the video, and thank you for coming along for a workday at Cove.